All right, we're back on this. From the last video, I explained how I'm switching over from using a small refrigerant charging hose to draw a vacuum. And you'll only know if you look at the last video that it was topping out at 1100 microns and it could not pull anymore. Already finished that other vehicle while this was still vacuuming and still the, and right now we're going through the vacuum decay. You can see we're at 12. That is with no vacuum being required. As you can see the valve is open. The valve is not screwed down. So the vacuum is just up to this point right here and it's ready for me to screw it down and attach it to the system. At that point, we will be able to read as it draws the vacuum on this side, what it does to the micron meter on the high side because it's sucking from the low side only and we couldn't get under 1100 microns. So let's do that right now. It shouldn't be immediate, it takes a little lag because it's pulling from one side and it has to go all the way over through the evaporator, through the small port of the expansion valve and then start drawing down the, the vacuum level on the high side. So let's do that right now and see what happens. Okay, it'll take a few minutes. Let's see how fast this actually reads. And we will wait because it's not going to be a minute. Let me give it uh, five minutes or so. And oh, it's starting to go down there. There we go. It's starting to go. It's starting to read now. Come on, focus. Went from 1200 to 190. So it's starting to do something. We'll come back. I'm going to set my timer for five minutes. And it is 1221 right now. So let's come back at 1226 and see what has happened over here. 